This sports segment, sponsored by A&D Automotive Group, located in Dothan and Enterprise. Welcome back, folks. Well, in 2017, Troy finished the season with 11 wins for just the eighth time in school history. Now, the Trojans have won 22 of their last 27 games, dating back to 2015. Now, in the Carriers New Orleans Bowl last January, Troy slammed North Texas and set numerous offensive records in the game. Now, with that kind of resume, Coach Neil Brown knows Trojan Nation is expecting a lot going into the new season. And with kickoff slated at home in the vet against nationally ranked Boise State, the Trojans must be ready to come out of the gate fighting. That I probably enjoy coaching this football team as any of I've ever been around. It's a, it's a group of guys that, that are hungry. It's a group of guys that are really close, tight-knit chemistry-wise, and we're going to have a really good football team. At Wiregrass residents will recognize the names of a number of Troy players on the roster. In southeast Alabama, northwest Florida, as well as southwest Georgia, Troy's main recruiting region. Houston Academy product Bratcher Underwood hopes to come back from an inconsistent 2017 season. The former Raider of Houston Academy dealt with nagging injuries and is expected to battle with Tyler Sumter for the starting kicker role. Underwood has been preparing physically and mentally for the upcoming Trojan campaign. He's looking forward to it. To potentially get the ball back or to make the other team mess up and maybe get it below the 25 or something like that. But I take great pride in doing that. Um, I enjoy it. I like kicking the ball far. I've always liked doing that. So it's one of, one of my favorite things to do. And Underwood believes 2018 will be the year of the Trojan. It all starts at home, as we say, in the vet on Saturday, September 1st against Boise State. Troy University will have one of the best secondaries in the country. Of course, sophomore Marcus Jones of Enterprise is a preseason All-American. Now at the other corner will be senior Blaze Brown of Canton, Georgia. Brown says he and his bestie, Marcus, will help cover the opposing receivers like a blanket. They are kind of what they call the Bruise Brothers. Oh man, we're close. Like it's my little brother, so like it's kind of easy to communicate. You know, we disagree on things, but then we fix it real quick. He's a good player, man. High IQ, and we just vibe off each other. Now the Troy Trojan staff says Blaze and Marcus complement each other perfectly, and that's why they're expected to be two of the best in the entire country. Well, moving to the prep scene, GW Longs head coach Scott Horn is entering his 10th season with the Rebels. Last year, the Rebels went only one and eight. Coach Horn says he's expecting another tough season with a very young squad. Coach Horn expects challenges in the new season. The main thing is for GW Long to be determined and not to give up. I hate to say we might be a year away, but I, I don't want to use that as an excuse for not having a decent and good season this year. I mean, we're going we're gonna to do everything we can, but we also have to know that it's going to take some time for those guys to develop. They're going to make mistakes, but there's nobody else to play. And this Friday night, the Rebels will host Slocum Red Tops in what is expected to be one of the more competitive opening season contests of the 2018 season here in the Wiregrass. Alabama will begin its quest for a second consecutive national championship with a rare three-peat. The Crimson Tide is just the second team to be ranked number one in the preseason Associated Press Top 25 for three straight seasons. The Auburn Tigers come in at number nine, and the Big Ten's Penn State Nittany Lions round out the top. 10. And today it was announced Troy women's basketball team. Well, they will play five home non-conference games. Those games will be against Florida State, the Knowles, Sanford, Alabama State, Middle Tennessee, Ole Miss, and Jacksonville State. Troy fans will have their first opportunity to catch the Trojans in action on November 1st in an exhibition game against West Florida out of Pensacola. Well, folks, we'll be back with Scott Roberts and your Wednesday forecast next. But we also have a look at the Durden digital cam, and boy, there is a lot of traffic, to say the least, across the wiregrass, especially there in the City of Progress.